Please welcome to Memorial Gymnasium, Vanderbilt men's basketball coach, Mark Byington. here. Great to see everyone here in this building. Welcome those watching as well on SEC Network Plus and also on our social media platforms today. Coming up in a moment, we're going to hear from our distinguished guest, also a message from our chancellor as well. It is an exciting time for Commodore basketball. We're looking forward to the fun times ahead in this arena and for our programs. They also enjoy a new building next door in the coming months, part of the Vandy United campaign. And our teams are building for future success and yes, plenty of memorial magic. Our new leader for men's basketball spent more than a decade as a head coach, most recently at James Madison, where this year his team won 32 games, including a victory just last week in the NCAA tournament. He's also been successful at Georgia Southern, was an assistant coach at Virginia Tech, and learned from the great Bobby Crimmins during his time at Charleston. And now he's the head coach of the Vanderbilt Commodores. We are very excited about the future with Coach Byington. We'd like to now direct your attention to our video boards for a special message from Vanderbilt's ninth chancellor, Daniel Deermeyer. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Along with Vice Chancellor Candace Story Lee, on behalf of our entire university community, it's my great pleasure to welcome Mark Bein as our new head coach for men's basketball. At Vanderbilt, we're committed to the same collaborative spirit that basketball fans recognize as the hallmark of great teams. We believe that by challenging each other in everything we do, we realize exponentially more of our potential. By supporting each other, we foster learning and growth. Athletics is a core pillar of who we are as a university. Coming together as one Vanderbilt to support the Dare to Grow campaign in Band United, we are bolstering our programs to meet the demands of the 21st century. By reimagining our facilities, we provide student athletes with the resources that they need to succeed, such as our base basketball practice facility that will open later this fall. To fully honor our values, we must also ensure that student athletes and the mentors will help them grow together and realize the full heights of their potential over their lifetimes. Mark Byington is at the forefront of a new generation of college basketball coaches. He has been honored by his peers for his command of X's and O's. He has coached offenses that rank among the most innovative and prolific in the country. He has also succeeded in turning around two Division I programs because, in addition to tactics, he understands the importance of community and collaboration. He has coached teams that averaged more than 80 points per game and achieved record net rankings but also teams that had 100% graduation rates and inspired 100% increases in attendance within their communities. Coach Byington shares our ambition for excellence. He shares our commitment to the transformative power of education. And he shares our belief in the unique potential of athletics to bring people together. I commend Candace on acting quickly and decisively in this coaching search to move our men's basketball program forward. And most importantly, for getting us the right coach. We're delighted to welcome Coach Byron to Vanderbilt. Now let's anchor down. Thank you so much, Chancellor Deermeyer. Now we welcome to the podium our leader and a great representative for our athletics program. She played on this court not too long ago. I know basketball is very personal and important for her. 
Vanderbilt Vice Chancellor for Athletics and University Affairs and Athletics Director, Dr. Candace Story Lee. Thank you, Kevin, and I appreciate that you said not too long ago, playing on this court. Good afternoon, everyone. So as I look around, I cannot help but think of when I first stepped into Memorial Gymnasium. As a 16-year-old, here for a basketball elite camp and yearning for an opportunity to one day compete on this court in real life. I will always be honored that what was once a dream actually became a reality. Back then I had no clue of the history experience in these walls. I simply sensed as I walked into this building that special things happened here and I wanted to be a part of it. I know I'm not the only one. Some of us look around and remember where we were when Barry Goheen hit his buzzer beater against Louisville or Georgia or when Shane Foster just shot lights out on his senior night against Mississippi State. Some of the more seasoned among us may remember watching Clyde Lee deliver an SEC championship, watching Perry Wallace change the SEC, watching the F Troop win another title. These young men in front of me, they can recall Tyron's buzzer beater against UT and Ezra's against Texas A&M. Memorial has been the site of many magical moments and we should mark today's occasion as yet another one, pun intended. We know that Memorial magic is real and nothing unites the black and gold like when this place is rocking and these cinder block walls are shaking. Now rest assured, Commodore Nation, Mark had some stiff competition. There was great interest in the opportunity to lead our men's basketball program as there should be. We have all that we need to be the powerhouse program that we all desire. Yes, we have high aspirations and that matters, but we also have the records and resources to support the vision. <laughs> Vanderbilt is one of the finest institutions in the world. We are proud members of the Southeastern Conference, charter members of the Southeastern Conference. We reside in one of the best cities in the nation and we offer it all within a community that's like no other. Thanks to the generosity of so many and the ongoing success of the Vandy United campaign, and as the Chancellor noted, but it's worth noting again, later this year we will open an incredible practice and operations facility to support our basketball programs. But it's not just that. It's our overall commitment to compete and win in every way from NIO to the development of our student athletes on and off the floor, to deeply engaging our own and galvanizing those who love the Commodores. When we are firing on all cylinders, it's good for this campus, it's good for this city, it's good for the SEC. And most of all, it's what we all deserve, in particular, our student athletes. As my team and I embarked on the search for our new men's basketball coach, we did so with an open mind, but a steadfast commitment to selecting the right person. The nine-day journey crossed many miles, but all roads continued to lead back to Mark Byington. Naturally, I was impressed by his track record of success, having engineered incredible turnarounds at Georgia Southern and James Madison. Each time I engaged with him, it was evident how he earned such a stellar reputation as an evaluator and developer of talent. His basketball acumen and his love for the game is undeniable. Mark and I talked quite a bit, and so many things resonated with me and made the shared vision clear. Things like, I don't hide from challenges. I get joy out of leading young men. I love to mentor and develop. I don't want them to just be basketball players, but to be clear, he was quick to point out that they would be very good basketball players. I recall him describing his initial plan after earning his master's degree at Virginia. He was supposed to get his doctorate after falling in love with sports psychology. 
He even said he thought he might become a college professor. But then he translated that innate love for teaching and learning to the basketball court, and we are so glad that he did. He also talked about the importance of having people on the journey with you and getting people to truly care, or the fun style of play, one that student athletes will gravitate towards and thrive in. He said, if you're going to compete, you must embrace change, and assuredly said, I am the one who can get it done. And he declared that this is a university that fits me. Of all the opportunities that he had in front of him, it was clear that he didn't just want any job, he wanted Vanderbilt. And as he shared with me and reiterated in his first communication with his new team, we will win. He has already hit the ground running, so I'm just glad we can fit this press conference in before he gets back at it. Special thanks to everyone, and you know who you are. Thank you very much for everything that you did to get us to today. Thank you to all who will be instrumental in getting us to where we want to go. I'm grateful to each of you. I especially want to thank Chancellor Dearmar for his consistent and enthusiastic support and allowing me to do what I believe is best and in the manner that I believe is best to lead us forward. This transformation that is underway could not happen without this partnership. I will end with something that our great baseball coach, Tim Corbin, and I often talk about. And that's a person's care level. It tells you so much about them, about their potential. It feels effort. It's intangible, but it's evident in the attention to detail that is applied to everything, in the ownership it's seen in a person who loves the work, a person who embodies what is necessary to maximize the opportunities before them. That perfectly describes the man you will hear from next. I couldn't be more excited to welcome Mark, Katina, and their entire family to our fair. And it is now my great pleasure to introduce you to Vanderbilt University's new men's basketball coach, Mark Wright. First thing, it is an honor to be the basketball coach of one of the greatest universities in the world, Vanderbilt University. It is a dream for, for many to go to school here. Uh, it is a dream for me to work here and include me in that group. Um, I want to start with some thank yous. First, I'd like to thank uh, Chancellor Daniel Diamar for his belief in me. And then I'd also like to thank Vice Chancellor Candace Story Lee for believing in me. And I can tell you about our interaction. Within 30 seconds of meeting her, I said, we're going to be great together. We are connected. She wants to win. She's passionate. She understands basketball. And as soon as I met her, I said, what an unbelievable boss that would be. And I think that shortly after that, I said, I said, I want to come to Vanderbilt and I want to work for you. Um, the next, I would like to thank my family. Um, it, this is a tough journey. When you're a coach, what you have to go through and along the path. Um, to give you an idea, I went to grad school for free. And, and then my first job as a head coach, I'm sorry, first job as a coach, was at Hargrave Military. I lived in the barracks. My salary was $6,000 a year. And you don't get into this for any other reason besides love and passion. And that is never, ever going to leave me. I have love for this. I have passion for it. And I want to be an extremely successful coach. And this is the avenue the venue is going to get me there. Um, my family, my son, uh, my friends. I mean, everybody that really supports me along the way. I cherish our relationships. I cherish the good times that we are share together. I cherish the bad times you helped me through. Next, I'd like to thank James Madison University. It is a special place. Uh, I had an unbelievable four years there, the people, the relationships, and it's something that I will never ever forget the memories that we had 
and the memories that we can always look back on with, with, with great happiness. And then especially the players at James Madison. Those young men gave me everything. I wanted to do the same thing for them. Um, they will be a part of my life forever and ever, and I will do anything I possibly can to help them throughout the rest of their life. Um, next, I would like to talk about um, our current players here. And, and that's going to turn to my love for them, my care for them, and where we're going to get this program going. I met with the team earlier today, and I can't wait to coach them. I saw a couple of them walking out of here, and I was in the tunnel, and I almost wished it was game day. I was like, wouldn't it be cool to walk out there playing today? And that's how my juices are flowing and seeing this arena and seeing the passion, seeing the fan base, and meeting all of them. Um, I can't wait to make them the best they possibly can be. You know, as players, as people, and maximize their potential. I told them they had that. Uh, they had have, they have that promise by me in the locker room. I'm going to make sure I do that for them. I'm anxious to learn more and more and more about the history of Vanderbilt, uh, more about basketball, the program. Um, I am somebody that's going to entrench every single thing I got in this community, in this program. And, and I'm, I'm an eager learner. I, I had the pleasure of talking to Will Purdue for almost an hour the other night. And uh, during our phone conversation, I kept writing things down. Who to meet, where to go, history, different facts, and everything else. And I'm going to continue that along the way. Um, it's, I know it's a special place, and, and then I'm going to learn every single thing about the past. And then we're going to make sure that the future you know, has, has this mark. It's going to be something great for these young men. Uh, next, uh, I want to talk about Vanderbilt Athletics and, and, and some of the meetings I've had already. Everybody in the world knows it is a tremendous academic institution. It is in the best basketball or best conference in the country. We are going to compete on the basketball court, and our goal is to win championships. We're going to be everything. We're going to be good students, and we're going to be great basketball players, and that's possible. And that's not something that's going to be wished upon, it's going to be something that's demanded upon. And, and we're going to get there quickly. One of the things that I, I, I've studied already is the success that the baseball team's had here with national championships. And I look forward tonight to getting going to a baseball game and, and meeting the team. I was a little upset on the throw the first pitch out tonight. <laughs> uh, uh, that wasn't on the itinerary, but if, if somebody's not ready, I'll be ready to go tonight to throw the pitch. <laughs> and and, and I've, I've been on the job now for four days and been anxiously getting my staff together, anxiously trying to watch uh, the current players on the team, and anxiously trying to uh, recruit student athletes here to Vanderbilt. And let me tell you what I'm telling them. This, this is why this, this is gonna be an easy sell. I say, do you wanna go play at the highest level of basketball and in the best basketball conference in the country? And if you're made for that, that's here. Do you wanna get one of the best educations you possibly get in the world? If you want that, it's here at Vanderbilt. If you wanna live in one of the best cities, in the world and have an unbelievable college experience. That's here at Vanderbilt. I should be having guys jump on board quickly and the interest level is through the roof. The next I want to talk about the style of basketball. It is going to be fun, fast paced, entertaining. I'm going to let these guys use every ability they have on the sport. As a fan, you're going to come watch the game and you're going to see Young men are going to play their hearts out for you. They want to play so hard, they're going to represent uh, everything that you want to in Vanderbilt. They're going to be committed to winning, committed to playing the right way, and it is going to be something that you're going to watch and you're going to go back and tell your friends, hey, you better come to the next game. You know, these guys are good, and these guys are playing hard, and to keep, it's going to keep building. Um, the next few weeks, my priority is going to be this. It's going to be the young men on the team right now. It's going to be them and then building the roster and then building into a championship team. I want to build relationships with the current members of the team. They're going to have to know I'm the best of them. And that's going to start, start it today. 
So it start tomorrow and the next day and for every that point forward. I'm not looking at doing anything else right now. And to the 26 real estate agents already texted me, uh, I do not have any looking for a house right now. Uh, I got some temporary living, and that's all I need right now. And when that runs out, I'll move to Lockwood. I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, but next, after after we get that established, is, is I want to build relationships in the community with the fans. And the Mike that started this, it's an honor, honor to be the coach of this program, but it's not about me. It, it's about all you all. It's about what I can do to, to make you proud of this basketball team. And, and, and I, you're going to have relationships with me off the court. I'm going to be around. I love hearing the stories I heard earlier today from previous players talking about their memories and, and the chemistry they had on the team. And, and the coaches they play for. And I can't wait to hear more of that. It, it's going to be something that, that these young men will be talking about when they come back 20, 30 years from now. The next thing I want quickly is anchor down. And I've used it a lot today, but I had to learn exactly when to use it and everything else. And I wanted to understand what it means. And the key thing I thought that I loved about it is unite. It's, it, it's an important word, and that is the most important thing that I want to do here today. Is we got to unite the people watching, the people who are watching, the people who are going to be here next year, this team. We got to unite. And when we say anchor down, I love the fact that a key part of that is uniting. It's going to be a journey, it's going to be a great journey. I'm going to tell you this be with us now. Don't wait. Get on board now. All right, support us now. Don't wait. All right, starting today, it's a new day. Not because I'm a new coach, all right? Because I'm going to have young men who want to compete. I'm going to have players in here who want to compete, all right? If we're going we're to cherish the history, but the future is going to be bright. To the students, this place is incredible. This place is magical. Right? And it, it's going to be created by magic by, by the young men on the court, but especially the students in here. I want this arena rocking. And the team will respond to that. And I want this to be the hardest home court that anybody has to go play at in the SEC non-conference or not. It's got to be a home court advantage. It's got to be something that every player in the country looks at and says, I want to play there. That's, that, that's the place I want to be. To the fans and alumni, I understand you're proud of Vanderbilt, and you should be proud. It, it is a beautiful, historic, great place. And no matter what your emotions might have been, uh, or feelings, the last couple, I'm gonna say again, unite, come back, get with us. And then lastly, I wanna talk to the former players, because I feel this is important. I know what you guys gave, there's a lot of them in this room. I know you sweated, I know you sacrificed. I know that you want this to take off and be good. And whether you're here in this room, whether, however you feel, the key thing is, is I want you to understand you are family. You are family to me, you are family to these guys on the team. All right, and it's time to come home. Come back, get in this place, it will be appreciated, and, and you're gonna be a part of this much anybody else. Thank you.
Let's go. Let's get started. Well, I'd like to ask you uh, if you would exit from gate three, and if you have a ticket for baseball, you can over next door to Hawkins Field. You can go to the usual entrances. The gates will be open soon at 4:30. Thanks again, and anchor down.